Hello again and welcome to the fourth part of our five part series on what we see as the future of manufacturing and in particular how we're addressing this and how we're upgrading our performance if you like as a manufacturer in order to service the needs of our customers more diligently and within a changed manufacturing paradigm. You know, I suppose, as I said in the first part of this series, uh, communication is critical in any relationship and not least in the relationship between a customer and a manufacturer. But in my experience, relationships between customers and manufacturers, uh, between suppliers and manufacturers, even internally sometimes in manufacturers, not so much relationship, but even the communication between these parties is often quite pathetic, whether it's verbal, over telephone, or in meetings or in uh, emails. It, there's such a lack of clarity, uh, such an ambiguity, so many questions have to be asked, so many meetings have to be had in order to get to a point where everybody is clear as to what is happening. And even then, sometimes that's not even achieved 100%. Um, so, you know, we see this as absolutely critical in the development of a good working customer relationship, that there's absolute clarity. And this doesn't mean you have to be blunt in your communication, but you do have to be direct in the sense of communicating all of the critical points in a very clear manner. Now, we've taken this to a different level, if you like, internally, as, as well as trying to deal with our customers and suppliers in a much more clear and unambiguous way. We're not perfect in any way. It's a continuous improvement uh, program. It's not about perfection. It's about continuous improvement. And internally, we have taken on board a lot of color coding. So we color code our different production lines. So we don't label them as line one, line two, line three. We label, say, the red line. And the red line is a completely red production line. All the benches are red. So everybody knows internally whose product is on that, what customer that line applies to. All the paperwork then that comes to that line is also in red, red paper. Um, so it just removes the questions around which product is on this line? What line is that product running on today? Um, where is the, the paperwork? Uh, have we all the parts on the line? Are all the correct parts on the line? Color coding takes care of so much of that and makes very clear communication. I'm going to show you a short video now taken from one of our January improvements around this area of color coding, just by way of an example. I might actually, I'll show two videos that, that give this clarity uh, and then by all means, if you have feedback, if you have any comments to make in it, you know, contributions to make in it, we're absolutely open to hearing your feedback and to listening to you. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, Seamus, and this is your second favourite improvement from the month. Yes. Of all the ones is, you've uh, done. This is colour coded uh, paper for all the paperwork. Um, each one of our customers will have a different coloured paper for. Um, route cards and job tickets and pick and this any any documentation that has to go to the floor okay. so it's um, very clear it communication easy. yeah oh, very, very yeah. visible on the yeah. floor right. so that you see yellow paperwork you know it's sense of it and it's clear to everybody what it is yeah perfect God, it's great and we have the five different colors here for the five different customers lovely um, thanks Seamus it's great Geraldine, this is your favourite improvement. It is, yeah. As you can see, this is known as the red line. And what we normally do is we uh, give a colour to our customers. This is called our power zone. So power zone is red. So if you see a different colour box on the line anywhere along bar red, you'd know there's a mistake. It's very visual and we spot things straight away. Brilliant. Thanks, Geraldine. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you if you have any questions or would like to find out more, please feel free to get in touch. My contact details are on the next slide. I look forward to talking to you soon in the fifth and final part of our five-part series on the future of manufacturing CW applied technology style. Talk to you soon. Thank you.